Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Scooters Direct and welcome to today's interactive 360 virtual test drive. Today, as you can see, we're using a 360 degree camera. So if you're on a smartphone, you can actually just turn your phone left and right and you'll be able to change the viewpoint with 360 degrees of range, which makes you pretty much feel like you're test driving the scooter. I'm gonna take you on a ride. I'm gonna go get some lunch. We're gonna go down the street. I'm gonna put this in the trunk of a small car, a Cadillac CTS. Cadillacs are known to have the smallest trunks out of all the cars out there. So I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to put this vehicle, this scooter in the trunk of a vehicle with a small uh, trunk space, and we'll go for a ride. This scooter is model number GB120. It can hold about 300 pounds. The heaviest piece when you take the seat off and you take the battery out only weighs about 47 pounds. It goes about four miles per hour. And depending on what battery you get, you can get up to about 18 miles on a full charge. With the travel battery, you get about seven. So we're gonna go, get, go ahead and get started. As you can see, the scooter has a basket. Uh, the seat's not too wide. I think it's about just under uh, 16 inches, about 15 inches wide. So it is a travel friendly scooter, kind of small, but the cool thing about it is it has a four inch ground clearance, which is very unique for any travel or folding mobility scooter. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and we're gonna go for a ride. We're gonna load it up in the trunk. Let's go. Hey Eric, can you get the door for me? So here we are in, a sh in our showroom and Eric's gonna be so kind as to grab the door for me, but take a look around. Remember you can go 360 degrees. You can see what's behind us, what's in front of us, to the left, to the right. If you're on a desktop and you're not using a smartphone, you can just click and drag the video player window to actually rotate the, the viewpoint of the camera. Again, this is a 360 degree camera that we're using. So you can see literally what it's like to ride this scooter from every angle. Now, as you can see, I'm using one hand to control this scooter. It's not on the fastest setting. Now it is. I can dial the speed back so that the top speed's a little slower when I'm in a grocery store. Or if I wanna go fast, like when I'm trying to get to my truck or my car in the parking lot, I could just send it full speed. Here we go. Pretty smooth ride. Could definitely go on the grass with this thing, which give you a little demo of that first before we go loading it up. Got a little curb here, no problem. So with this type of scooter, it has smaller tires. It's not always gonna do really well on grass, but for short periods of time, if you need to go from pavement to another area and you have to go over a small portion of grass, it's okay. Just remember, the closer you are to the maximum weight capacity, the harder it is gonna be to travel on uneven terrain that's not a flat, smooth surface like the one we're on now. So you don't wanna ride on grass for too, too long, especially if you're nearing the maximum weight capacity. All right, so we made it to the vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and prop this up on a tripod and show you what it's like to get it inside of the trunk of this car. All right, well, we made it. Here's the trunk of the Cadillac I was telling you about. I'm going to go ahead and pop the trunk. And the first thing we're going to do before we begin taking the seat off, we're going to take the basket off. The basket is a collapsible basket, so it basically doesn't take up any space when it's completely folded. Pretty nice. Put that off to the side. Next thing we're going to want to do, there's a yellow lever underneath the front of the seat. You pull that yellow lever up and the seat comes right off. You might have to put this in the back seat in case you don't have room. In this Cadillac, the trunk's really small, so we're gonna put this in the back seat. The next thing we're gonna do is turn the power off. Should have done that first, it's okay. There are two pull pins, one on each side of the seat platform. So I'm grabbing one here, the other one's on the other side. If you just pull out, you can slide the platform down. That's step one. Next, 
You see this yellow lever? That yellow lever needs to be pushed upwards. I use my thumb and it is spring loaded, so it will push, it'll push forward on you because it's spring loaded, but you want to push it all the way down until it's completely flat. Now I'm going to show you there's two ways to do this. If you're strong enough, you can just carry the whole thing. There's handles on each side and the front. That's one way. If you can't carry the 47 to 50 something pounds, depending on what battery you have, if you take the battery out, you're going to save a few pounds. I left the battery in. Here's a little rag. Protect your bumper. Okay. Lift by the front. Now it's resting there and I can come from underneath. I could grab this handle and this handle and lift straight up. Voila. There you have it. So now I'm going to go for a ride. I'm going to get my lunch. It's all possible with the mobility scooter, even with a small car like this with minimal effort. All right, while well, I'm back, got some KFC. Love some KFC. Now I'm gonna take it out of the trunk, put it back together and enjoy my lunch. It's pretty easy with the golden buzz around carry-on, which we do offer for sale tax-free. Shipping is free nationwide. Visit our website, mobilityscootersdirect.com to learn more. All in the leverage. All in the leverage. This just hooks on right here with a little hook and groove mechanism. Now I have my cup holder as well. And I can put my KFC right in there. Just gonna make sure you hold that lever up when you drop the seat back in. And we're good to go. All right, so got it back together. I'm heading back into the shop to enjoy my lunch. I just want to thank you all for joining me in this interactive ride. As you can see, it's a very convenient mobility scooter, has a very smooth ride, and it's priced just right for a folding mobility scooter that has all these types of features. It does also have a USB charging port, so if you have a cell phone with a cell phone charger and your cell phone starts to die after a long day out and about, you can just plug your uh, cell phone charging cable right into the scooter and the batteries of the scooter will be used to charge your phone, which is really convenient. You also have armrest included at no additional cost. All in all, this is a really great scooter. One of my favorite folding mobility scooters. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my lunch now. Again, I'm Sergio with Mobility Scooters Direct. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.